This week, it's like a prison camp. I'm with the horse and hound set. The horses have to come first. What an awkward customer. Out in the sticks. You really can't escape the horses. It <laughs> is a real horsey place. <laughs> with no escape. The motel has got to go. I'm in Harrogate. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got some of the most beautiful architecture anywhere, which is why there's so many period dramas filmed here. And I'm really looking forward to a couple of days wandering about the town. I am going somewhere called the Harrogate Motel. So it's five minutes drive from Harrogate Town Centre, which is quite nice. That nav is in. Drive, baby. Motel. Five miles out of Harrogate town centre, in the wilds of the Yorkshire countryside, is the Harrogate Motel. Uh, well, this is the front of the motel. We've had all this recently done, where it's got the Yorkshire white rose on the front of it. Proud owner Jennifer Birtwistle runs the business with her son, Drew. The rooms are absolutely beautiful. I think it has a coziness, a certain appeal to it, and it has a country appeal. I don't like these great big vast rooms with high ceilings. I think they're a bit unfriendly. Jennifer's cosy vision is carried across all nine bedrooms. This is one of our new double rooms. We've added some little features into this one. We've got a trouser press, kettle, TV. All the upstairs have got a view looking out over the valley. This isn't mother and son's only venture. The motel opened eight years ago in a converted barn by the Burt Whistles Equine Centre. Hello, Joey. That's a good boy. You're a good boy, then. We've got about 50 or 60 horses on site. It is a passion. We look after them, and we get a huge amount of pleasure out of it. It is a way of life. In the horse world, Sun Drew is show jumping royalty. He was picked to jump for England when he was only 10. He then got picked for the European team. He's, he's won a lot. He's done very well. After 30 years providing five star service for the country's finest thoroughbreds, they decided to try their hand at the hotel trade. We'd never run a motel before. We'd not been in the hotel business at any point in our lives. It sort of drifted into it, really. Then having got into it, we then set about doing the best that we could. It's like with the horses. Everything has to be 100% perfect for me. Bye-bye. What an awkward customer. <laughs> the horses have to come first, and the motel guests would have to wait if they were struggling to operate their shower or they needed an extra towel. Well, I'm now heading definitely out of town. Somehow, five minutes from the town centre, as quoted on the website, makes it feel as if it's a walkable distance to the shops and restaurants. I'm not going to be going out for dinner, am I? Not unless I'm willing to take the car. Fortunately, the Harrogate Motel has a bar. But it's quite cosy, and they get chatting to each other even, and it sort of passes a pleasant hour. It's offering a nice service. It's a pleasantries of life. But business isn't booming, and guests at the motel are in revolt. It was probably one of our weakest summers that we've had in the last 15 years. Customer satisfaction is at an all-time low. People do tend to only pick the bad bits of anything. But, you know, that's not terribly intelligent, actually. And many guests that do check in rarely return. We didn't know it was tough. We didn't realise it was tough, because we'd never done it before. We just carried on anyway. It's very, very important that the motel can stand on its own two feet and has generated enough money to, for us all to carry on being here. It's not just financial. It would be soul-destroying. Actually, it's been like his little baby, really. He's put so much into it. I think he'd be devastated if he didn't make a success of it. Mm -hmm. 
When we got my hotel, is in a farm with a riding centre. Now all I need is a great big mound of horse poo to step into and my cup will be running over. 15 minutes after leaving Harrogate Town Centre, I finally arrive. Well, riding centre, farm buildings. And lots of horse boxes around. Rather, rather as an afterthought, I can see the Harrogate Motel. I think it's not a very clever way to start your relationship with the customer when you, you know, your marketing literature isn't honest about your location or what you're offering. I don't want the red carpet treatment, so I'm checking in early to see what regular guests can expect on arrival. Motel reception is here, is it? Hello. Hi, this is Alex Polizia. I've come to check in. Thank you. It's a rather unusual method of um, checking in. Hi. I'm Alex. Hi. How are Hi. you? I'm a bit early. Is it okay if I check in? Yeah, I suppose. Which room? Well, we don't know which room. I don't know. <laughs> it's the housekeeper that greets me, but it's hardly a warm welcome. Uh, Alex. Correct. Yeah. You can pay by cash or card. Um, uh, is Drew around? <laughs> he's somewhere. I think he's in the yard. I think. Okay, fine. I'll go and find him. I go in search of the management, and I find them in the stable yard. Hello. Hello. I'm Alex Polizzi. Hello, how do you do? You're Jennifer. I am. Nice to I meet am. you. Drew. Nice to meet you. <laughs> On your website it says that it's only five minutes away. It's a bit further than that. Except by helicopter. It's About actually five minutes from the A61, which actually is Harrogate. It's misleading if you really want to be from pub to pub. It's misleading if you're a Londoner. Five yes, minutes from the centre of town, darling, means, well, we, you know, Did we say centre of town? I think we said Harrogate. No, town centre. Did we say centre of town? You do say town centre. Yes, yeah. Jennifer's given my completely reasonable complaint, the brush off, and with her stable yard fully booked, housekeeper Juan Carlos shows me the rooms. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've got the toilet. Light for the toilet is here, this wall. Thank Enjoy. you. We're kind of anxious to hear what uh, she thinks about rooms and things. I mean, she's very direct, <coughs> very forthright. The room is pretty miserable. Standard bathroom. Um, standard ugliness. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate lots of people want to spend the minimum amount possible. But do you have to give them such a depressing environment to sleep in, honestly? I've probably been responsible for a lot of the layout of the room. But I've just tried to duplicate what I've seen in some of the larger chain hotels. The usual ridiculous touches, like the picture of Venice. <laughs> this room and Venice have very little to do with each other. Directly outside the bedroom, there's one very obvious issue with this hotel. You really can't escape the horses. Why did it make no mention of it on the website? That's what I keep coming back to. As well as the view, for £55 a night, guests also get breakfast, served downstairs in the motel's recently renovated dining room. Another depressing room. Everywhere you look is just so ugly, it's really offensive. It's not like I haven't stayed in depressing places before. I mean, that's kind of the meat and drink of my working life. But you're in the most beautiful countryside. And if I'd known I was coming to a rural location and I'd been coming along those beautiful sunlit lanes today to, to a beautiful little bed and breakfast, all kind of flower-sprigged muslin and all of that malarkey, I would have been happy as a pig in shit. 
rather than, you know, an Alex in horse manure, which is how I feel at the moment. I just, I just, I don't know where to start here. I don't know what to begin to say to them. But I'm not stumped for long. I find your rooms really quite, quite ugly. And I'm not the only dissatisfied guest. I'm working with the owners of the Harrogate Motel. You don't want to speak to me then, really? Oh, why? Because you didn't like it? No, no, not at all. I've checked in to the Harrogate Motel. Like many guests, I came expecting a town centre stay, only to spend a night in the sticks. Farm buildings are ugly. Farm implements are generally caked in mud. I don't know, it's, it's a kind it's, it's hard for me. I feel like tidying everything up. All these piles of muck everywhere, it's very distressing. Um, it just looks like a grey concrete. I look it's like a prison camp. And um, I think horses definitely better looked after than human beings. The new stables are much nicer than this building. And honestly, the shower this morning was... I I'm going to have to show you the shower because it was so pathetic. You couldn't wash a hamster in it. Um, at least not unless you wanted to either freeze it or boil it simultaneously. I kept on thinking that at some point it was going to burst into life, but no. And then to add insult to injury, it really does. It goes between absolute boiling and absolute freezing without one touching anything. Between that and <laughs> that. So there's obviously water pressure, but it's just, you can't wash yourself. Hotel guests might struggle with the shower. Morning! But for £55 a night, you do get breakfast. It's a very, very full breakfast, continental, but even then it's more than that. But it's continental plus, plus, plus. Cereals. I think my son went over the top with these. I didn't know there were so many in existence. But we've got every cereal known to man. And tinned fruit which, surprisingly, is very popular. Why do you insist on calling it a motel? Why didn't you just call it a B&B? In my childhood days, a B&B &B was very, very basic. B&Bs have come a long way since that idea that you had of them, you know. Has it? A hotel has to be what it says on the tin. If guests come expecting one thing and find another, well, that spells disaster. I thought I'd just come and talk to you about first impressions. But I have to say, I find your rooms really quite, quite ugly. Mm -hmm. We were never going to move into the... I mean, Harrogate's got a lot of expensive hotels. I don't... I'm not talking about it being expensive. So, I like it being budget, but why does it have to be ugly? It's kind of so functional. It's so... It's like Eastern European before the Berlin Wall came down. <laughs> And I, I didn't so want to what, say what, this in a horrible way. Yeah, what would we do with them? What do but, you think? But something that's kind of just is a nod to the fact that you're in the countryside yeah. and it's obvious you love the horses and it's obvious that you're passionate about what you do, but somehow that isn't shown at all in yeah. the guest accommodation. You know, you've got horses everywhere. I just cannot believe that you've got those... You've bought a job lot of pictures from something like Home Base or, you know, yes, B&Q. Yes, rather than having some of the photographs of the horses you must have loved or, you know, something... Or of the countryside that you're in or we're, of the... We're nervous about doing that. We're nervous about... Um, and making it make, like a real horsey it. place. And make... It is a real horsey place. <laughs> I mean... We hadn't thought of it. It hadn't occurred I didn't to us, had it? A lifetime of living with horses seems to have blinded Jennifer and Drew to their obvious problem. I decide to make a swift exit whilst they mull over my feedback. Funnily enough, the bar doesn't really appeal to me here, so I'm going to go to the local pub. I think Alex is right to make a point that perhaps a little bit more overt about it, yes, I want them to think they're going to wake up with a horse in their bedroom and think uh, we really are going to a, a place that's surrounded by horses. That is not the case at all. 
they are completely wrong to think that they have any chance of divorcing the horse from their motel business. They need to embrace the horse. Uh, they are. They, what they're clearly passionate about is horses. Why on earth they're trying to pretend the horses don't exist? It's like the, the elephant in the room at all times. The next morning, and directly outside the hotel window, the stables are a hive of activity. It's uh, no different than going to a hotel and discovering it's next to a school. If you don't like children, you don't have to see them. <laughs> The Burt Whistles may be pros in the horse world, but they're amateurs in the hotel industry. I've just stayed in one of the biggest hotel chains in Europe, and it's pretty similar to this room. In fact, there's actually three more pictures in this room than there was in the one I've just stayed in. They are desperate to make their motel work, but my advice has still fallen on deaf ears. Every bedroom I've stayed in has been more bland than this, more plain and to quote Alex, more ugly. But the whole idea is that we wanted it clean, basic, you know. So absolutely clean. It's a little, little bit like a sanatorium, I suppose. It's absolutely immaculately clean. If a hospital room is the yardstick, I've got my work cut out. I hope they'll heed my advice to change the confusing name. Motel does give a really sort of, it gives you a very American side of the road thing. So maybe we are losing customers as well because they think they don't want to stay at a motel because when we've seen motel and we've seen it on CSI, normally someone's been murdered there. Well, we've looked at B&B, &B, bed and breakfast, and I think that's, from my point of view, clearly out the window because I just couldn't really live with the vision of how it used to be. So let's leave the name. <clears throat> I think we've exhausted that. Jennifer's refusal to see sense has already lost her much-needed business. Oh, God. A quick look at the online reviews reveals a long line of disgruntled guests. The motel is a building in the middle of nowhere in a dark, muddy area that houses rooms. It is nowhere near the outskirts of Harrogate and is impossible to find. No mention on the website that rooms look on to the riding stables. I think the general consensus is that the website is very misleading. A lot of these reviews have to do with the fact that horses aren't mentioned anywhere, nor is its location at miles outside Harrogate. Um, lots of people comment about the fact that it's not a motel at all by putting motel in inverted commas. Um, and it ain't great, let's put it that way. They lied on the website about the location. It is miles away from Harrogate city centre. To disappoint your customers in this way is frankly commercial suicide. I just think that even if Drew and Jennifer won't listen to me, maybe they will listen to former guests. In an attempt to prove to the Burt Whistles that covering up where they are and what they are is losing them business, I've got my hands on the details of some of their previous guests. And now, with Drew and Jennifer by my side, I'm going to call them. I'm calling a couple of your old customers, just to get some feedback from them. It's a gamble, but for this to work, we need to be on the same page. I am calling to ask you about the Harrogate Motel. Yes. Yeah. Did it tick all the boxes for you? Yeah, yeah, did, yeah. Was it a surprise when you got there? Were you expecting what you found? It was it was really in the sticks. Um, it took a while to find, really. And when we got there, it looked like it was more of a farm than a hotel, like with the, with the horses and stuff there. Hello. Hi, James, it's Alex Polizzi. Hi there. When you arrived, was it what you were expecting? We basically went, we weren't aware that the horses were there and it was a bit kind of muddy. If you had known that it was a rural location in a kind yeah. of farm complex, would you still have booked it? Probably not, just the fact that it was quite out of the way actually and it was like you said in a rural area. Oh, there. Yeah. Nuri, hi, this is Alex Polizzi. I'm working with the owners of the Harrogate Motel 
and I'm uh, just trying to... You don't want to speak to me then, really? Oh, why? Because you didn't like it? No, no, not at all. The Harrogate Motel has an identity crisis. A gentleman the other day just drove straight off the car park. So never actually set foot in the hotel. He just sold his horses and immediately associated horses and dirt. Now I'm calling on former guests to get feedback on their stay. I'm working with the owners of the Harrogate Motel and I'm uh, just trying to... You don't want to speak to me then, really? Oh, why? Because you didn't like it? No, no, not at all. So it's not what we expected, to be fair. It was out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Which we didn't expect. And then it was next to the riding stable, so you, you came out your hotel, you came out the door and you... And the riding arena was like two feet away. And did that bother you? Yeah, it bothered. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your honesty. That's no problem at all. And Bye. I hope you have a good afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Well, that was quite fair, wasn't it? I think it's really important to be honest with potential customers. I think part of the complaints that you get would be completely removed if you were a bit more overt about where you are the fact that there are horses there. So I'm very keen to improve your web presence and how you describe yourselves, definitely. That you're a riding school and a show jumping family and you have a b, &B as well. You want people to read the blurb, say, fine, six <laughs> miles from Harrogate Town Centre. And I think that that will pick you up a lot of the kind of travellers you want, who want rural, who want it quiet. And so I want to stop those bad reviews in their tracks. I want to people to start saying, this does what it says on the tin. Does that make sense? It's, it's, it's a school for hoteliers. It all makes sense <laughs> and sound really good. The second thing is that I'm a great believer in value for money. And I think you should still be cheap, but you should be much more cheerful. Now, I would like to offer to cheer up some bedrooms for you to show you how easily it can be done. I'd like people to open their eyes and realise that they're in Yorkshire and they're somewhere horsey. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Um, and, and I think that should be celebrated. She had so many good points there, you know, yes. to what you can bring to the motel. Being more overt and explaining to people to make a feature of where it is rather than try to exclude it from where it is. We'd never have thought of that. Over nine million people visited the Yorkshire countryside last year. With some simple changes, the welly-wearing country lovers could fill the Burt Whistles Hotel. Every part of this business has to be cohesive, and we need to sell this place on its countryside credentials so that guests, when they check in, know what they're going to get. Jennifer and Drew understand horses, but when it comes to what people want, they're lost. So we've come to Yorkshire's foremost racecourse, where thousands of country lovers flock every month. We're at Doncaster Racecourse, and um, looking around at some magnificent animals, I'm amazed at how many people are out on a Thursday afternoon. It shows what a draw the equine world has. I want Jennifer and Drew to hear what it is people expect from a night in the country. I'm working with Jennifer and Drew here, who have um, a riding stables and a B&B &B in the countryside, budget accommodation. I don't know if you stay in places like that. If you do, what is it that you look for? If it's priced right and the surroundings are nice and it's clean and welcoming, that's a big plus. If yeah. it was £100 a night or it's £50 a night, it doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as you're getting that welcome. Yeah, I look for Wi-Fi. Decent breakfast in the morning. Somewhere neat and tidy as well, yeah. I think. Somewhere that looks like it's, it's well looked after. Yeah. The motel is part of a farm complex next to stables. Would that interest you? It'd probably appeal to us, if anything, yeah, having a bit of a sort of racing background and everything. Yeah, yeah that would hugely appeal to us, I think. But I'm not sure everybody. We like a bit of comfort Do and you? a good bar. A good bar. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I'm with you on that. Yeah. When you think of the word motel, what does it make you think of? It's, it's probably not great connotations with the word motel. What It just sounds like it's on the side of a main road for me, but... I just envisage a bubble bath in the shape of a heart. <laughs> Very American. <laughs> American. Is it yeah. living the dream, David? Harrogate, <laughs> <laughs> not Vegas. Yes, Harrogate, <laughs> not Vegas. <laughs>
Got all the new chairs out. Uh, oh, excellent. Do all... that colourful, aren't they? We're going to need to look like Buckingham Palace. Is that all right? <laughs> With renewed enthusiasm and a clear steer to target the country set, Jennifer and Drew are taking action. I'm not sure I like those coffee things on the walls now, actually. Well, They've decided to revamp their rather bleak breakfast room. Oh, you shouldn't have got lilies. My design team get cracking on the overhaul of all nine of the bedrooms. To give it a quintessential country appeal, I'm ditching the tired mix and match bed linen, and every picture on the wall will now reflect the unique location. Changing the look of this establishment is only part of my plan. When you have a hotel off the beaten track, marketing is king. The current website is completely misleading. There's no mention at all of horses or countryside. So, of course, the internet reviews from people expecting a city break are utterly appalling. We need a whole new website aimed directly at country lovers. That's it. That's lovely. A professional photographer is tasked with creating images to sell the Burt Whistle's country credentials. That looks dreadful. Yeah, that one wasn't the best. I, I, no, I think that just looks like I'm about to die, actually. OK, well, we'll do some, we'll I do some so. more. I think so. Nobody miserable attracts no. anybody. Nobody miserable, no. Oh, right. Jennifer's not only concerned about her portrait... I'm not very keen on that. She wants a second opinion on my choice of artwork. See, its nose is missing and its eye you can't see. It's a job to see what it is. What do you think about that? I quite like the ab slightly abstract. Ah, abstract is the word. Ah, well, you see, I don't like anything abstract. Right. On a personal basis. Okay. I like it to be precise and know what I'm looking at. While Jennifer quibbles over the details, my focus is on the bigger picture. With only nine rooms at the bargain rate of £55 a night, this motel will never deliver the big bucks. I've had to really pull some strings to get access to this place. I hope they're suitably grateful. I've arranged to meet Jennifer and Drew in the heart of the Wiltshire countryside at Lucknam Park, a luxury hotel with its own equestrian centre. It has an indoor arena, it has expert tuition. It is incredibly popular with riders of all abilities from all over the world. And so I've brought Drew and Jennifer here, not so much as to rub their noses in the difference between their motel and um, five-star luxury, but to show them what can be done with the horse side of their venture, which is, after all, the bit that they're really interested in. Here, both businesses are run as one, something I want the Burt Whistles to try. Dawn. Oh, good morning. Hi, how nice are you? Nice to meet you. Very well, thank you. Jennifer, Drew. How Jennifer. do you do? Have you ever heard of Jennifer and Drew's establishment? I have, yeah. It's a, a renowned, prestigious... <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. We've got amazing facilities. Nothing like what you've got here at no, all. No, no, no. It's completely no, opposite no. end of the scale. Opposite end of the scale, yeah. absolutely. But I'm I... encouraging them to think of their business more holistically as one unit so that we don't separate out the rooms and the riding, that we yes. find a way to make more money with less, you know, doing something that you really enjoy and that you're incredibly good at. We've never done, oh, come and stay with us and you can actually ride. If people uh, are coming for a, a, a weekend away and we're going to treat themselves, you'd probably want them to come and stay at a very smart hotel rather than a budget hotel. So we couldn't really marry ours up. No, I don't think we could. I think the answer to that is no. Tell me exactly, what facilities do you have here? We've got cross-country course, we have our outdoor school, we've got amazing hacking. If we do corporate days, you, you get a boss who can ride and he thinks this is the greatest joke ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watch his whole team and, and see who can do it. Some have never got to have a, seen a dog or touched a dog, let alone a horse. We have people who've never ridden before, we have people come and stay who um, don't even imagine they're going to ride. They come and have a walk round, have a chat with us, and we sort of say, why don't you come and have a go? Yeah. All evidence points to the fact that there are, that residential courses are incredibly popular. Adults of mixed abilities who, well, pay through the nose 
to come and do three days of, of tu some tuition yes. to improve their skills, yeah. to, to have an experience. And it seems yeah. that, we're, that you guys are really missing a trick because we need to expand yes. into that market in, in your area. We did try to keep it separate. And I think that's been pointed out to us as a mistake. And I can see now, I think definitely, we've missed the opportunity of that. And that's been pointed out to us. We're certainly going to do that. So are you going to ride for me? Yeah, I think we can find a horse today, I'm sure. We've got something. <laughs> I would love it. Sure, we've got some horse <laughs> lined up here. I would love it. I would love it. Let's we'll stand in the dry, shall we? Yes, let's. Let's stand in the dry. <laughs> we'll, we'll let him get wet. How many horses do you have here in total? We have about 40 horses Gosh. of all different mm. shapes Where are and all sizes. The others? They're all hiding Everybody's in the field. They're yes. too muddy to be in. <laughs> <laughs> They're gang shy. <laughs> Get my best side. Yes. I love it. Um, after eight years running the riding school and motel as separate entities, Jennifer has finally caved in. Whilst I'm on a roll, there's one thing I'm very keen to get sorted. The problem with the name above their door. I would like to ask you, have you reconsidered the name? So, I'm aware that everybody sort of books hotels these days on the internet rather than sort of going, oh, something near something. So I was trying to obviously still get Harrogate in the Fine. title. I allow the Harrogate bit. OK, I'm going to give you that. that. <laughs> but I, the motel has got to go. OK. I know you don't like bed and breakfast. I did like the idea of Harrogate Country Hotel. But you are not a hotel. You do not have a restaurant. No, no, yeah. Never overpromise. We want to stop all those complaints, those silly complaints that only yeah. exist because someone's expecting something different. Yeah. We want to stop yeah. it in yeah. its tracks. Yeah. And I would say either some combination of Harrogate Stables, again, because I want the two part, or Harrogate Rural, or Harrogate Countryside, or Harrogate, and I really think that you have got to call yourself a bed and breakfast. A B and b all you're offering is bed and breakfast. Yeah. It, it could actually be a Harrogate Country B&B. &B, yeah. Because that's what you just said auto more naturally and more yes. automatically. And yes. yes. When you tripped it out like that, it sounded a lot. Harrogate Country B&B. Nice. &B. Yes. yes. And it does what it it's says neater. on the tin. Yeah. You are near Harrogate, but you're in the countryside, and you're offering bed and breakfast. Harrogate right. Country B&B. &B. Yeah. Harrogate Country B&B. &B. Does that sound good? Well, I haven't had that put to me before like that. This bed and breakfast. Sounded very Conjured long. Conjured up the... It seemed that, yeah, you know, bed and breakfast is... I couldn't see people typing that in search engines and things like that, but sort of B&B, &B, you know, it's a lot quicker. So much more pleasing to the ear, if nothing else. What we've looked at is putting on about four or five weekends throughout the year. The riding packages are in development. About 10 places per weekend. The that added weekend. income they generate from new guests could double the motel's bottom line. Nice! Fabulous. It's yes. amazing it's really... just the white linen. Yes. What a difference that makes. Yes. And after a hard day in the saddle, the finished rooms will be a welcome retreat. It looked quite dark and drab. Yeah. I well, think, yes. compared to how it is well, now. Yes, it's just I've never nice actually stuff. stayed in a bedroom. All the ones I've stayed in, as lovely as this, oh. or as appealing as this, and I've stayed in hundreds. This room's now set up for people coming for a weekend away, maybe treating themselves with LinkedIn with the riding. Holly, more holiday more of a type holiday weekend. Yes, we take in. this is going to transform your reviews. Right. I honestly mm. do think that. Gone are the days of the motel's depressing bedrooms. They're the nicer rooms that we would ever have stayed in. But nicer than that, actually. More attractive, more attractive, and more on a holiday theme. To create a cosy countryside retreat, I've added new artwork, a lick of paint, tweed blankets, and fresh new linen to every room. I think they're lovely, but I'm a bit concerned that people are going to put mucky old suitcases onto the beautiful new duvets instead of putting them where they're meant to. But they do that, don't they? Well, new banqueting chairs. Yes, new smart yes. chairs, nice and bright. Oh, good. Yes. Uh, better display for the breakfast. I'm quite glad you got rid of Hong Kong and... <laughs> yes. And you've so we've now followed the horse up. theme right Yay! the way through now. Yes, good. So people can actually talk about the horse of the drama pictures. 
the business has been totally recalibrated with a new website to make it crystal clear where the B&B is located. But to get heads on beds, we need a push to market this establishment to the right crowd. Experienced hotel owners know that half the battle is promoting your establishment in the right places. Drew and Jennifer are self-confessed novices at this game. So I'm going to give them a leg up, open some doors, get some press in, and then it's over to them. I've invited a group to try out the B&B. Headed up by a veteran journalist from the country's number one equine magazine. We've got a lady coming who's worked for Horse and Hound for the last 30 years. So these are all people who could give us press, whether by writing about it or blogging about it, etc. Um, I want them to know every aspect of what's available. I really hadn't any vision of that at all. So I'm totally surprised. ago, the Burt Whistles had two very separate businesses, a riding school and a shocking motel. Now we've merged the two and the country set are about to descend. They'll decide if this could be a winning formula. I'd like you to really sell the rooms. Yeah. And I'd like you and, and, and both of you have got to sell the packages. I mean, oh. you've got to sell the riding and the tuition and everything, but yeah. I want you to talk about then branching out, do it. yes, yes. So, yeah. because, because you know, these are all people who could give us press, whether by writing about it or blogging about it, etc. Um, I want them to know every aspect of what's available here. What? I've invited a group of experts, and leading the pack is a horse and hound columnist with nearly 200,000 readers. I've been reporting for Horse and Hound magazine for 30 years this year, actually, and the course of my job takes me all over the country, so I'm always visiting places like this um, and staying away. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming. These are Drew and Jennifer. Hello. Whose place Hi. this is. This is not my establishment. I've done my bit. As always, at this point in the proceedings, it's over to them. Come in and I'll show you this. It's now up to mother and son to convince the experts that this is now one clear business proposition. Oh, real? Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Isn't it cool? <laughs> yes. What a good idea. That's brilliant. Oh, I like this. I like yeah. What a cool view. Now, this is... Yeah, do come in. So this is where people will be staying at the weekend. Nice. Readers it's very are. nice. Lovely cosy food to it. I'm liking the tweed. And all that. Yeah. Yes. A bit of tweed. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, well, that is actually to add the country theme yeah. to it. Yeah. Even the waste paper bins are a bit luxury. Ooh. Uh, I would prefer that Jennifer didn't call it luxury accommodation. <laughs> you know, we've made it much nicer value for money accommodation. But I think calling it luxury is a step too far. <laughs> it was meant to have been a budget, and I think now we've actually taken it away out of the budget realm, actually. Yeah. Lovely pictures. Uh, yes. So as they're waking up, they are getting a hint of horse, I it's would say. Inspiration. So we've got a hint of horse everywhere. Can you yes, see out to the stable yard judges. then, out the window? Oh, brilliant. So you can look at the horse in the morning and think, I'll be down in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Next, the group head to the paddock for a taster of Drew's ride and sleepover packages. Somebody wanted to come for, say, a week yep. and bring their own horse and have lessons. This is Drew's big chance to plug the venture. How much time would you expect to, them to be taught each day? What, how would you configure that? If we were doing a show jumping session, I'd probably do a course walk session, a warm-up session with a horse in here, yeah. and then do course practising. And presumably you could give them dressage instruction if they wanted that? Yes. Um, do yeah. you have any cross-country facilities we here? We do. We've got three cross-country courses here. So what about adult beginners? What adults, have you got yeah, to we've them? got some quiet horses as well. Um, we've now she's got the lowdown. Journalist Tricia wants to see what guests can expect from Drew's packages. So obviously you're going to come down the entrance where you're coming in at the far corner of the arena. Take your time. Get the horse 
relaxed in its new environment. It's come away from all its friends up in the warm-up arena. Drew is so engaging when he's talking about stuff that he's It's really full of enthusiasm. He's so enthusiastic. Yes. That's what makes it such a good experience for the people who yeah. come here to stay for... Maybe a week's worth of lessons. Yeah, he's already he learned so much. And still doing it, actually. Yeah. He's got great people skills when he's talking to people who have the same interests as him. I mean, he's really engaging and engaged, and they're all lapping it up, frankly. So this is Marinello. Short name? Marinello. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah. There's not many places, I think, that you're right on the yard. You just walk straight out and go straight to a lesson or compete or, you know, get trained and things or go out riding. It's really, really cool to be so close to the action and have nice, sort of, nice, warm, cosy facilities too. Do you know anything um, else in the zoo yeah, that's doing this kind of thing? I don't, I'm afraid, well, no. I'm glad. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. And yet, this is such a beautiful area. I mean, it's the sort of place you'd want to come to for a holiday anyway. So to combine the two... I mean, this is going as well as I could possibly have hoped. And I'm not having to do any of the selling, which is absolutely right. I've been very, very oh, pleasantly surprised. I didn't even know this place existed, so um, I shall be only too pleased to make sure that other people now know that it does. I think the potential here is tremendous and in many ways it's surprising that it hasn't been done before really. Um, this has been a very unusual experience. I came here and Drew and Jennifer were not sure about whether they could trust me or not, whether I was taking it down the right route. If you think about all the discussions we had about motel versus B&B &B and why Harrogate was so important in the name. And, you know, it's been a... It's kind of been a, a very involved process. The truth is, what they have now is a unified business. There's no doubt it's going to be successful. We think. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that five years yeah. ago? There you go. Are you going to get Alex on a horse then? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that I don't know. A really small horse. <laughs> <laughs>